What is good, everybody? Today we are back with brand new WWE action figure news coming at you right here, man. I feel like it's been a little bit since we actually had some news for you, so I am glad to get back here today with some brand new action figure news as we dive into it. We had some stuff revealed, and it's some stuff that we knew was coming, but I'll get into that as we discuss the entire thing that we have here today. But we have two reveals of two complete sets. So not two total reveals, but two complete sets completely revealed with all the details and things like this, and I will get into it, man. But let's go ahead and dive in, man. Starting out first, we do have the brand new Survivor Series 2024 Adam Pierce build a figure set, which is going to feature Kevin Owens. We have Sami Zayn, we have Bushwhacker Luke, and Bushwhacker Butch to go in this wave. Now we're going to start things off with Kevin Owens, and we're going to get into everything that goes on with this figure. Of course, breaking down all the details here. Now we did know originally. It's kind of weird because we knew that Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn way back. I mean, it's got to be. I don't remember how many months ago. You can go back in the news, but you can see that we knew about this Adam Pierce build a figure for a very long time, and that's just thankful to our sources over there, man. So if you guys want things early in terms of different news and figure-related activities, definitely subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification so you never miss some news, whether it's, you know, reveals or, or something on the horizon. We can get it out to you there. But we are starting off with Kevin Owens. Now, we knew that this was probably going to be in this gear because once Kevin Owens was revealed for this, we knew that he was also in the Ultimate Edition wave, and we were kind of fantasy booking what those would be. And once we knew that he was in this wave and then, the you know, the Ultimate Edition was coming, we knew that that would probably be his WrestleMania gear and that this would be his his Dusty Rhodes t-shirt, long pants gear, because why the hell would you make an ultimate out of this? And I love Kevin Owens, but look at this packaging. It's got some camo on there, you know, celebrating War Games and Survivor Series, which I thought was great. I like this figure. I like this figure. You know, I'm not the biggest fan of this head sculpt that comes on the figure, but it's not the biggest deal. This is going to be our second elite Kevin Owens in pants that we've ever seen, but he did have the jeans on there. He was beating the hell out of people. It's a cool Kevin Owens, and it's also cool because you could easily customize this guy and make him into a promo Kevin, Go uh, Kevin Owens. You could easily make this into a promo attire or street attire Kevin Owens if you wanted to do so, but we do have Kevin Owens in the Dusty Road shirt. Looks pretty good. One angle, I feel like one eye is kind of drooping on him, but I think that the figure overall is solid. It's a fun figure. I'm a massive Kevin Owens guy, so I'm all for any Kevin Owens they want to give us. It is a very unique look, but he is also going to come with a torso, the Adam Pierce figure, which we will look at the build of figure Adam Pierce once we're finished covering the Survivor Series wave. We saw this back at WrestleMania 40 on display, you know, the whole entire, you know, figure display, the Mattel display at WrestleMania at the Super store, but we do get better looks and images of it here, which looks pretty good. We also have Sami Zayn in the honorary Oos in the red gear, which we figured this would be the gear, obviously, because it was Survivor Series related, and he was in the War Games match with the Bloodline, but you do have, you know, his gear on there with the honorary Oos. It looks very good. Very good figure. He's got his smiling head sculpt from his Ultimate Edition. You could easily switch on any other figures. The Elite 106, you could do the Ultimate Editions, and he's still coming with those tall boots and this mold, but for the most part, in the Survivor Series, in these pay-per-view lines that we're getting here that are typically build a figure waves. It's usually repaints unfortunately, so this is just going to be a repaint here, but I know a lot of people have been wanting this gear for their Sami Zayn. A bit late. I feel like it is a bit late, but I guess at the same time, maybe not. I don't know. You can let me know what you think. It's it's. I feel like it's been a while since, you know, this figure or attire was wanted, so I don't know. You can let me know down in the comment section. It's certainly it's a moment in time figure, but at the same time it was such a big storyline and such a big part of it. You know, it doesn't fit into the current status or the current product, but there's multiple Sami Zayns that have come out that you could easily use for a current day Sami, and I think this goes right there in your Bloodline collection. This is good stuff here for Sami Zayn. And then we also have the Bushwhackers. Now, we had not seen the Bushwhackers in a very long time. Now, I do believe that they finally got those guys back under Legends contract. I think their last figures were the damn Battle Packs. And I remember seeing that Battle Pack wave way back at my Kmart back in the day, man. I'm talking 2017 maybe. It may have even been a little before that, that I saw that Battle Pack. I think that was the same Battle Pack that had Vince and Austin in it, that same set. They came with their hats. I think that's the last time we saw the Bushwhackers. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but I know a lot of people have been wanting these and this you know the Luke figure actually comes with Adam Pierce's head sculpt you have the clown makeup and you have his head sculpt so that's pretty cool but between both both bushwhackers you know I was it is cool that they're going to come with interchangeable heads so you can get that you know that one off or you can have like some standard bushwhackers which is really good I like the detail in the belt buckle they actually painted the belt buckle which I think is also a nice touch the camo looks good I like this I, I'm glad that we're getting these in here and I like it for having parts in the line as well having some parts here that are modern and, and fit nicely this should be good here I'm excited to have the Bushwhackers. I haven't seen those guys in a really long time, and the Adam Pierce head sculpt does look good, which we'll see in just a few seconds because we have taken a look at the Bushwhackers. Now I want to take a look at Adam Pierce, and Adam Pierce is looking pretty bomb, man. I like the look of this Adam Pierce. Again, we've known about this for quite some time now, but this is a really good build a figure. I think that it would have been cool to see some glasses come with him, but I like this this charcoal gray. It's not too too saturated. I love the purple undershirt, the purple tie. I'm liking that aspect of it as well. And one thing I will say is I would like to see not that. 
Adam Pierce should have came with this. But you guys remember that battle pack with Shane McMahon and Daniel Bryan from back in the day where they didn't have a tie. It was just a buttoned, a button down shirt and the top button was unbuttoned and they didn't have a tie on and you could put the jacket over that unbuttoned, you know, button down shirt. I think that would be a real, we need a build a figure that has that look. So I'm talking no, you know, not having your suit jacket buttoned up. And we've seen that with the Elite 109 Cody, his jacket was not buttoned, but having an open button jacket and then having the undershirt have a sculpted on torso that is an, you know, an unbuttoned shirt or without a tie, if that makes sense. I've seen some people do some customs and it looks really clean. Jax did it back in the day. It looks really nice. They need to do something with that. I don't know who they're going to put in the Build-A-Figure. And I can't remember who the next Build-A-Figure is coming, you know, I, I off the top of my dome. Maybe somebody can remind me. And maybe I haven't even had a video or news related to that. I can't remember off the top of the dome. But this Adam Pierce figure looks really good. I like the pieces here. Overdue for it. I'm sure we'll get Nick Aldis at some point as well. I'm sure there, there's plenty of guys down the pipeline. But having Adam Pierce here is definitely deserved. I think we need more people like this. Maybe not, you know, on-screen wrestlers, man. Like, we need an updated Michael Cole. We need, you know, probably an upgraded Corey Graves. You know, they made him way too damn big back in the day. He was probably the last one they did with that, you know, that what I'm talking about with the, or I think Trash Corbin may have came with one, right? Like, but those were basic figures. I know. I'm just saying we do need to get that look back in the line because you could do a lot of flashback guys in that way. So we'll have to see about that. I would love to see Triple H as a build a figure in suit would be cool, you know, and maybe he comes with an interchangeable head. Maybe you could do like ponytail or evolution looking Triple H head sculpt with that button down, you know, with the unbuttoned. And then you could also do a modern day Triple H. It could be a two in one figure where you could have a ruthless aggression Triple H and a modern day NXT or leader of this revolution Triple H. That'd be sick, man. That uh, just fantasy booked that off the top of the dome. That's what they need to do. But let's get into our next set of figures. And this is going to be the ringside exclusive from the Vault Series 2. Now, these are up for pre order right now. And we're going to dive into the full wave. We did pretty much know the entire wave revealed to us, but now we have a look at every single figure that's coming. And they've added some bells and whistles here that we're going to get into, man. First up, we have Hall of Champions Elite DX Billy Gunn. I'm pretty sure initially this figure did not come with a DX headband. The Hall of Champions, I don't think it did. I could be wrong about that. But this is the Hall of Champions Billy Gunn figure. Not the best head sculpt of all time, but a great Billy Gunn. Their shirts are going to be Velcro less. He comes with the world tag title. He has the DX headband. Very sweet figure right here. It even has the BA on the knee pad, which looks good. I love it. I know this is a re release, but that's what the From the Vault series is. But this figure I paid a, a arm and a leg for. Never saw the Hall of Champions figures. I looked all over, could never even find them. Nobody wanted to help me out. I had to pay in the aftermarket. It was atrocious for both those guys. And unfortunately, I did have to do so. But this Billy Gunn looks damn good. Great base for Billy Gunn. Just a great Billy Gunn. Double jointed, all the different things. This is an excellent figure. Very much excited for this one. I think this is a good inclusion here because this figure was highly sought after. We also have his tag team partner with Road Dog. Again, they are going to have Velcro less DX shirts, which you can put on a myriad of figures. We have a lot of good stuff going on here. Head sculpt looks a bit demonic or something. It looks like his eyes are blacked out or something like that. That looks a bit off. But this figure's fine. You know, I know a lot of people back in the day would have used this as a Kenny Omega base. I remember when people were using that that Road Dog torso or the Road Dog crotch legs and kick pads. People used to make Kenny Omegas out of that all day long, and I could see them. You know, potentially, I guess you could do that if you wanted to make a Mattel equivalent of Kenny Omega from, you know, his Bullet Club days, but you could still, I don't know, it's still a good figure nonetheless. And then we also have Rikishi. Now, this is a figure that they did add something to. They did add the SmackDown tag title, which is an interesting take, but I still don't like this figure. I think they probably added this in here because they knew that this wasn't the greatest addition to the line. I, I've talked about this already, but we had the Elite 27. We had the Hall of Champions, which is what this figure is supposed to be. I think. No, this is the Elite 27 re-release because the Greatest Hits series in the first set, they re-released the Hall of Champions Rikishi, and then they're re-releasing the Elite 27 here in the From the Vault. So, I don't know, a bit weird of a selection. I didn't like this selection just because we just got him in the Greatest Hits, and his Elite 27 and his Hall of Champions, there wasn't a huge big of difference between the two. So, I don't know, that's just where I stand on the figure. I just thought that this was a weak, a weak inclusion. I didn't like this inclusion into the From the Vault series, but I digress. Still looks good. It's going to be a good updated version of a Rikishi if you want that, and it comes with a SmackDown tag title. Kind of adds to the incentive of picking this figure up, but we are moving on to the next figure, which is going to be the Undertaker as Kane, or Kane as Undertaker. It is Undertaker as Kane here. Former ringside exclusive, re returning here as a ringside exclusive, and I was reading the comments of this, and one of the funniest comments I saw, it actually made me pop. Somebody, somebody actually said, put this back in the vault, and that actually made me laugh out loud reading the comments. So anytime something makes me cackle out loud from reading it, you know that's a damn good joke right there, man. If you ever read something on a screen and it actually makes you chuckle out loud, that's a good joke. I, that actually made me pop. So 
I thought that was hilarious. Put this back in the vault. Yeah, not my favorite figure ever, but at least it's going to be a double sleeve. You could easily pop this head sculpt off. You could put on a cane mask. You could include the mask here for your displays. If you don't want Undertaker as cane, you could make this into a dual sleeve cane, man. And I think, didn't he look like that on WrestleMania 2000 from new, on the Nintendo 64? I could be wrong about that. Or maybe that was an alternate attire. Nonetheless, it's still, it's a solid figure. It's just not the, not one that I would put in the re-release. I don't think it was necessary, but I know that it is a ringside exclusive. You know, I think that in Series 3, we're going to get some big ones, and I think they're probably going to reveal Series 3 of the From the Vault series at San Diego Comic-Con, probably as a render. It'll probably reveal, you know, From the Vault Series 3. I'm gu I'm guessing SES Punk's going to be in there, man. I'm just going to go ahead and put that out there. If you want to move that figure, I would move it right now before that figure is revealed as a From the Vault, because they're definitely putting that in the vault, and it's definitely going to be re-released. I think the Elite 6 Punk, they're going to put that probably, not in the vault, probably, maybe in Series 4, but I bet they're going to re-release these, punk these punks, these rare figures. Man. Anything that's rare from back in the day, they're going to re-release it. Unless the person's not with the company, that's probably your only bet to hold on to it. But as soon as that person signs back with WWE, get rid of it, bro, because I promise you it's coming. I just think that there, there, nothing is off the table when it comes to re-releases in my mind, and that's where I stand there. But we do have The Undertaker as Kane, which is an interesting take, and they also added the Ultimate Edition boots there, which is cool. But we are moving on to the next figure of the set, which is going to be Ringside Exclusive DX Sean, a great-looking figure. They did re-release this figure but with a different head sculpt. So, of course, all these figures that are re-released are going to have double jointed arms. They're going to have interchangeable hands if they didn't previously. They do have the champion. I don't remember this guy coming with the world title. Last time we got this figure, I don't remember the world title. I could be wrong about that, but he does come with the the Ultimate Edition fan takeover head sculpt. Or maybe this is... No, maybe this isn't the fan takeover. This may be just the regular Ultimate Edition. Nonetheless, it's still a good head sculpt. Great head sculpt to include. It would have been cool to see a 5 o'clock shadow included or maybe some knee pads, but I still like this figure. I actually really enjoy this shine and having it updated with double jointed arms and having entrance gear and different things. I know it came with the entrance gear already, but just having the, those fix-ups and additions, I think, really add to it. So, this is one of my favorite figures from, from the Vault Series 2. We also have Paul Heyman. Now, this one's interesting, okay? They have done some cool things here. So, they took the original Beast Incarnate versus Tribal Chief 3-pack Paul Heyman, and they are re-releasing it with the WWE and Blue Universal Championships with Roman Reigns side plates, including three different interchangeable Paul Heyman head sculpts. So, this is one of those things I was talking about. They're taking the figures that I was not the most exciting for. They've added added some bells and whistles. Now, those bells and whistles were probably already added. I'm just saying that the figures that I wasn't that, I don't know, enticed with out of From the Vault Series 2, they have added some things to make them a little bit differently. So, you know, they're adding incentive to picking it up. So, they are adding these championships. They're adding in these head sculpts. So, these head sculpts that are coming on this Paul Heyman here, one of them came in on the traditional or the original three-pack, which is what, the, what this blue suit Heyman came from. And then the, like, gritting head sculpt, I'm pretty sure was a basic. And then the smiling head sculpt, I think, was his build-a-figure head sculpt or they may have both previously come on basics, but I know one of these did come on a basic, but he has a little ponytail in there, so you can make not only a modern day Paul Heyman, but you could also use it for a throwback with Brock Lesnar, or maybe you want to go further than that. You could actually have that opportunity here with this Paul Heyman, which I think does add to the incentive like we talked about for picking this up. So you get kind of the smirk, you get the evil grin, and you get the more modern day just chilling face, and they're all good. They come with interchangeable hands. You have like the flat ricochet Johnny Gargano hands, and then you get the pointer fingers to point at people and tell them to shut the hell up. So this is good stuff. It's it's. I like that they actually added some stuff to it. So you know you you get something out of it, not just a straight up re-release of a figure that just came out not too long ago. So I can't appreciate that. But we're moving on to the next figure in the set, which is going to be Diesel, which comes with the World Tag Title and the World Title, which I think is pretty good here. This is one that we haven't seen in a while. I think this is Elite 16 Diesel originally, a once very sought after figure. I could absolutely see them possibly including Elite 16 Kevin Nash. Now, that figure was really sought after beforehand. I could even see them doing the ringside exclusive Kevin Nash in one of these From the Vault series because those two figures were really sought after for a while. They probably still are, but I know with the addition of the Ultimate Edition Outsiders Kevin Nash that is coming very, uh, very soon, that is probably going to interrupt them putting that Kevin Nash Elite 16 into From the Vault Series 3. I could see them, you know, it kind of holding that back, but hell, they, they, they're they putting LA Knight in the Defining Moments line, which is ringside exclusive, and they have an Ultimate Edition coming that's very similar, so I don't think they really care. They'll put both of them out at the same time, so we'll have to see about that, but I could see them doing some other Kevin Nashes, but here we have Diesel 
from Elite 16, a very sought after figure. I understand the inclusion, not my favorite inclusion, but I could understand it. It looks all right. Solid looking figure. I like the gray or off white style top instead of the all black. But the last figure and the most important, I'd say, probably my favorite figure from this is going to be Eddie Guerrero from the original Legends figure with the WWE Championship. And I'm noticing that they're leaving all some black details on the title belt. I don't know if that's final product. It does have men on card shots of it, and it looks like it's missing. But I love this formula. I love the upgraded arms with the Macho Man torso. Great looking figure, man. You got to put your damn. This is the old. This is what the Ultimate Edition should be. So they fix the skin tone. The head sculpt looks really good. This is a great figure. I think that you know you could take your Ultimate Edition shirt and put it on here. And that's money right there. This absolutely tops the Ultimate Edition. Even though you can play around with the head sculpts, you can switch out the Ultimate head sculpts on here and play around. But this is so beautiful. The updated skin tone looks so much better than it previously did. Great likeness to the character. Great attire. Great moment. Probably the... I'd say besides WrestleMania versus Kurt Angle, I'd say probably the highlight of his career, right? So I think that this is good here. This is really good stuff. Looking forward to this. I like it a lot. So we will see what comes of this when it comes out. But the Eddie Guerrero looks damn good and I'm excited for it, man. But that is our From the Vault series number two, as well as our Survivor series sets. I'd like to know what you guys think there. Do you think the points are valid? What do you think of From the Vault series two? Now all of this, I think, I don't know if the Survivor series figures are up for pre-order, but everything, I think this From the Vault series two is up for pre-order. Now we're only like a month away, maybe five, six weeks from San Diego Comic-Con. And you guys know at San Diego Comic-Con, we are going to have a bunch of things revealed. It's going to be crazy. I should I do believe I'm going to be headed out there again for back-to-back -back years, man. So doing the Royal Rumble two years in a row, doing WrestleMania two years in a row, going to be trying to do the trifecta, trying to go to San Diego Comic-Con for the second year in a row, trying to complete the trifecta there. Should be fun, but we're going to be out there. If you guys are going to San Diego Comic-Con, please hit me up. Of course, we will be out there covering all the news, walking around, getting all the details. Should be a fun time as always, but I am looking forward to San Diego Comic-Con. Should be a damn good time, but until then, this is what we have for figure news. If anything's leaks out, you guys know that as we approach Comic-Con, things start getting leaked out and trickled out and that's the way things go man but that is pretty much going to wrap up the video thank you guys so very much for watching i hope you guys did enjoy the video let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below before we get out of here huge shout out to our patreon members man appreciate all those fellas over there been sending over some stuff to them as the week has progressed as we continue to work on some projects behind the scenes but i appreciate all those fellas man thank you guys so very much for watching hope you guys did enjoy leave me your thoughts down below and also at the top of the description box we have a link to an invite to whatnot if you guys want to join a whatnot stream going to be selling off some wwe action figures stuff. If you guys are interested in that, click the link in the description below. Sign up to Whatnot. You get $15 free for a first-time sign-up that you can use in your first purchase, and I would greatly appreciate that, man. But I'm getting the hell out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.